Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Systems team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using boilerplate. This is our part number 31. Inside this video session guys, we will see that list books to data table. In the last video, we had seen that how can we upload image from media to our plugin. If I back to browser, now this is create book form. By the help of this create book form, we are creating our books and store inside our database table. Now inside this video, we are going to list all the created books inside this list book data table. Now inside this list, we have columns called ID, name, email and so on. So back to database, open up the table called tbl underscore books and inside this table, if we see about the attributes, so we have called ID, name, amount, description and so on. So by the help of these attributes, we are going to bind with this data table. Back to editor. Now open up the file. First of all, go to admin folder, go to partials and here is the file called tmpl list books. Now before going to this file, if I open about the admin file first and inside this, if you go inside list book page and this is all about tmpl list-books.php. Now inside this, let's say that we are going to include called global wpdb object. Let's say that books data equal to wpdb get underscore results and inside this I am to use call the prepare statement so wpdb prepare method and inside this let's say that select all from and here we need to provide the table name so this table activator and if we go inside this includes folder activator file and copy the table name so we have the method name called wpowttbl books so copy the method name and pasting it here now in the next as we know that we need to pass the placeholder so for now we have no placeholder so i am going to put a comma here and an empty value now if we want to see about the values so let's say ego and this is our formatting tag and let's say that print our let's say books underscore data so if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page and now here we can see that we have array of objects and also if we want this result as order by id descending order we can put our condition as well inside this query so simply if I write here something let's say that where or simply this is not where let's say order by ID and this is descending order if we save this change reload this page now as we can see that third book is now our first record let's bind this data to our data table go to editor copy this variable and as we are using PHP buffer, so directly this variable is available to our view file. So go to this file, go inside this T body. Let's say that if count books data greater than zero, so I'm going to use called for each loop here, copy this variable name, pasting it here. And inside this for each loop, let's say that the first column we want something if I write about TR tag here, that is table row. Inside this, our first tabular data that is all about the book ID. So scroll down. So let's say that inside this PHP tag, echo, value, and this is all about book ID. Now if I copy and paste and back to table 
and go to structure so next we have called the name here for the email we have called the email field publications so go again here and inside this so as we have no publication field inside this table so if I go to code first and let me check the code we actually we are creating our book so here we are creating and this is txt publication so I think that we need to add a column inside this table because we are taking our txt publication value from the front end so first of all go to this activity table because we need to change the structure of this books table as well so inside this let's say that after this if I copy this book image pasting it here let's say that it should be publication and let's say 150 characters in length and it will contain the null value now again if I copy this column value go to table and I want to add that column after book image so add one column after let's say book image click on go and here it should be publication let's say var care 150 characters and it will allow the null value so successfully we have added now let's create one book so if I open about the create book page into a new tab and let's say that self number two this is all about book number four this is book four at gmail.com it should be sample publication this should be sample content we are not going to upload any image here we have to provide the book cost so let's say 200 or simply let's upload our image of this book and something like here click on select and if I press submit button book created successfully back to table click on browse and inside this table now here we have called the publication and I think that actually we also have to use the publication column inside this so let's say publication and this is txt underscore publication if we save this change back to browser again we need to create a book so self number two let's say book five book5 at gmail.com sample it should be sample content upload a book image so select this and let's say 180 cost click on submit create it successfully back to the list reload this page and as we have inside this publication called sample publication so let's render this publication value to our list so go here so after this email value we need to write call publication here next we have to write about the book image so let's say that if we go to our table and this is all about the column name called book underscore image so here it should be something book underscore image this is all about the URL so if I cut this from here and simply let's say we need to write called the image tag here and inside this let's say src putting it here let's say style height equal to let's say something 50 pixel and width equal to let's say 50 pixel and also we need to check this value as well so here inside this td here inside this we are checking here so putting php tag here and simply let's say if not empty this value it means we have some value otherwise we have a else block so cut this track from here so in case if we have some value then we need to use this image tag 
otherwise simply I am going to use this is italic text and here let's say no image now after this image we have called the amount so this is if I go to table next we have the column called amount here so simply let's say amount next we have the status so if I copy pasting it here this is all about our status and finally we have our action button so inside this action button we are going to simply place or let's delete button so button it should be here I'm going to provide the class so it should be btn btn danger and let's say that delete so if we save all these changes back to the list reload this page now inside this list we can see here that is these are the books theme book email here we have publication book image amount a status and the action button so let's say that in case of publication if we have no value then we need to write like no publication here back here so let's say that it's at or let's say simply not empty so here's the value otherwise inside this italic tag simply let's say no publication save this change reload this page and here we have called no publication also we want that this book image should be in uppercase go here let's say that str to upper pasting it here and these all books we have now next we want something that for this status column we want that instead of this integer value we want either a active or inactive button go to editor let's say that if this value equals to 1 then in that case we want to show a button and that button should be in green color so let's say class so btn btn success and it should be active otherwise it should be inactive so let's say inactive and this should be something btn btn danger if we save this change reload this page now we have called inactive and active button now in the next video as we know, know that we also have a column inside this table called self underscore id which containing about the self means self related information which book has been placed at which self this is related with self id so in the next video we will make a join to our self table so that we can take the self related information of each book and place inside this table so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day